So my client requested that he wanted to add embroidery to this design you are seeing on your screen right now. That's this particular jersey. But then again, I thought about I need to use another software which is Adobe Sampler. And Adobe Sampler can be used to create or convert uh, the graphics to embroidery, which might take a little bit much of time. Then I decided to go to ChatGPT, and that's what we'll be talking about in this video, whereby you can use ChatGPT as your workflow on Clo3D. So as I move on, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more tutorial from Team the Creative. So this is the design here, and the client has already sent me is our graphic these are the graphics i'll use and it sent something else again another graphic again which i'll be showing you here these graphics too so let me now show you my chat gpt so um so this is my chat gpt now so this is the graphic i'm supposed to make it look like an embroidery on this design which i'm supposed to add at this bottom part here on glow 3d you can see so i just use my just normal english you get make this image look embroidered but the issue i faced was you can see this image is cut out let me show you so you can see this image is cut out and it's not going to be good for that look so this is what i did so i had to put it on a white background i don't know if you got what i'm trying to so i'll show you something like that here so let's assume i just need to open a new background just control n to create a new um project a new document and i just use this 1080 by 1080 then the image I want to add embody to, I'm going to add it here. So uh, let me scroll down. So this is it here. This is the patch. And let's wait for it to load. So I'll just copy this and paste it there. Ctrl C and just go to this place and just paste it here. Can you see? And then just save this image as um, PNG or JPEG, anyone you want. So that's what I did here, and you can see this is it. And I said, make this image look like embroidery, and it gave me this result. You get, but then again, if you use this image like this on Clo 3D, you won't get the result you want. You get what I'm trying to say? You won't get the result you want because it's just going to look like an image. Though it's look like an embroidery, but it's look like an image. So this is when you need a displacement mark to make it look embossed, like an actual embroidery, embroidery, not um, not flat image on your design i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say so you need a displacement map i've created a tutorial before like i think last year on how to create a displacement map also you can use chargpt to generate a displacement map but then again i'm using a free chargpt you get so i'm trying to make sure i'm using my app i can only use i can only generate image five times you get so since creating a uh, displacement map is not hard so i just did that on photoshop i will just show you quick now so something like this now so if you have your displacement displacement map here the best thing I can do is uh okay, let's go to the embroidery part, control O. Let me bring the embroidery I downloaded. So um I think this is it. Yeah, this is the result I got from ChatGPT. Can you see this is a looking embroidery? Yeah. So what you just do next is this. So just go to filter, just go to 3D and generate bump map. So it's still loading. So much time so again this is this is fair so i'll just change this to a cube to make it flat so it's going to load so we are going to have something like this also you can adjust the scale you can use the values that are here already because my own is already has been set already so um i'll just select okay and you have this black and white this thing so just make sure your background is white why create your displacement map also there are websites that you can use to create displacement map i think i've forgotten i used that yesterday mm, i'll put the link in the description box when i get it so you can use those uh website to generate displacement map and it's free too so i'm going to show you how we're going to use it on clo 3d so this is what we're going to do first so this is the patch here so i'm just going to bring it in as a graphic so i'm going to select this and we're going to select the embroidery this is the embroidery design yeah so i'm going to just place it here and let's set this to like 80 so it's quite big so we just need to make sure that the um graphics is the graphics we need in the white background uh, yeah we just need all these inside the shape i'm coming so i think i can still scale it down with bit if i'm right so I'm going to scale it down. Ooh, what's that? So, 
yeah this is good so i'm going to select this and we're going to go to this is the displacement map so that image you generated from photoshop just save this as a jpeg file or png anyone so uh, this is the image your patch displacement and just paste it here so when you paste it here um where is the displacement yes okay so we are going to change the amount to four and the particle distance to one so now we are going to check this on render send so let's go to render if you are using a premium version of ChatGPT, then you don't need to go to all the stress of using photoshop tell ChatGPT to generate a displacement map for that particular image you get so that's just how you use it i'll also be talking about talking more about using ChatGPT for texturing on crew 3d so this is it you can ignore the comment ignore the noise and let's wait for it to load so this is the embroidery here okay so now let's move to the chest part of the embroidery which is the logo we are placing here so the same thing we are going to do as you can see let me go back to my charge bit here so i uploaded the logo and i said make the logo white because i wanted to change this logo to be white and i wanted it with an embroidery look and make sure the background is transparent which is very very important and this is the result ChatGPT gave me so the next thing i did was also the same thing so i had to go to photoshop to create a bump map or a displacement map which i used on clo 3d and i'll also show you that here so i'm going to upload this comment so this is the image i think this is the image i generated from charging if i'm right yeah let me see yeah this is it so i'm going to upload this or paste it here yeah okay that's large so let me make it um about 80 or so yes so we have something like this can you see can you see this so um i just need to set it properly then the next thing i need to do is to add the displacement map as usual so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to go to displacement map i'm going to select this and um this is the displacement map i created can you see so i'm going to click on ok i'm going to select four here i'm going to select one as particle distance i'm going to select render and we're going to check this in our render view so let's wait for it to load Anyway, as it loads, you can check out my mock-up designs on my website. Some of my Jesse mock-up I designed, which is editable on Photoshop and Blender. So you can check it out. The link to my website is in the description box. So yeah, this is the result here. So um, can you see this? So let me zoom closer. Can you see? I mean so I'm trying to just give you an edge look of how it looks like so you can see it's looking embossed so this is just going to reduce the stress of using multiple software to achieve this embroidery look 